that's so we made it to the Cool Springs Overlook. It was a strenuous hike of 0.2 miles, but we made it. Um, it's a beautiful view. I'm sure in the in the fall when the leaves are changing and it's all those autumn colors, I bet it's just even more amazing. But we're gonna go check out these other trails and see how beautiful they are and what this other overlook looks like. So let's get going. So we're um, not too far into the, what is this, the stone wall trail? Uh, yeah. So we're the doing, stone tower. Stone tra tower trail. Mm -hmm. And so far it's mostly steps. Yeah, but they're not, they're not bad. They're, no, it's not too bad. No, they're not like beautiful. And we've seen some older people and some kids and pets going up and down, so <sighs> should be good. So behind me is actually the park's namesake. It is a ancient stone wall. Um, it's 885 feet in length um, and there's a lot of uh, theory surrounding the purpose of this wall but no one really knows. One of the theories is that it was built back in 500 AD by Native Americans for ceremonial or religious purposes. Another theory is that it was built by ancient Welsh travelers in the um, 1400s as a fortification against Indians. But no one really knows, but there's still remnants and there's no artifacts that have been found to support any of those series. But this is the park's namesake, so it's pretty interesting to see. Or maybe it wasn't built by settlers or explorers or Indians. Maybe it was built by aliens. <laughs> <laughs> that's why. The, that's why there's no artifacts and no proof that they were ever here. That's exactly what that is. Alien rocks. That's a theory. <laughs> is it? <laughs> is it someone else's theory too? Is it just mine? <laughs> just mine. This is pretty cool. Who knows? That's kind of odd that they didn't find any artifacts because I mean anytime you see anything like this you usually find remnants of who was here or some kind of history or markings like tools they use some kind of something but apparently they didn't find a single thing and this thing goes on for what 885 feet pretty crazy it's still going it's going out through there and then down through there and then through the woods. Still headed down this trail and the rock wall has followed us practically the whole way and it's about to run into another section where you can hike to the tower. Which is, yeah, see, I think, I think the rock wall ends right about there where the tower trail starts. What do you think about these trails so far? They're easy, but they're really peaceful. I haven't come across like anybody. I'm just thankful it's September and 
It feels so good. It does. It feels great. Ain't out here sweating. Cool breeze. Mm -hmm. I love it. I wish it would stay this temp all year round. And then maybe drop to a, some Christmas weather around Christmas. And then go back right back to this. Yeah. I hate burning up. Definitely want to move out of Georgia one day. Mm -hmm. During the Great Depression, Roosevelt's New Deal program, he created the CCC, the Civilian Conservation Corps, and they were tasked with building this tower in around 1934-35. It's a fire tower to overlook the mountains to make sure there are no fires burning. Um, and it's actually similar to Vogel State Park where I talked about the CCC, and they built the lake and the dam there. They also built the lake here. So this is part of history and it's neat to see. So as you can tell there were many stones that built this tower but there's one special one right above that window. Uh, legend has it that a young stonemason in the CCC named Arnold Bailey was missing his sweetheart back home and so he carved a stone heart and placed it center above that window and it must have won her affection because they were married until he passed away in 1994. So that's a sweet little little gesture. preview of Fort Mountain State Park. As we said earlier, this park has so much to offer. Accommodations wise, they've got cottages, tents, RV, trailer campsites, um, pioneer, backcountry, and platform campsites. For things to do, they've got a 17 acre lake with, lake with a beach area. Uh, you can swim, fish, rent a kayak, john boat, canoe, paddleboard, paddle boat. Um, they've also got over 50 miles of hiking, biking, and horseback riding trails. This park was absolutely beautiful. Uh, was just We really weren't expecting the views that you get at this overlook. It's probably one of the best views um, that, in my opinion, that I've seen so far in Georgia. Uh, we actually came on Labor Day and we're pretty surprised that, that there weren't that many people here. Um, it was a beautiful park. If you're ever in the area, you have to check it out. Um, thank you for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell.